Hello again, my name is Sandra Fenn and I'm back with more business news. The Ghana Commodities Exchange says it will be adding five new commodities by close of year. Chief Executive Officer of the Exchange, Dr. Kadri Alpha, says this is expected to attract financial partners to help boost the fortunes of the agri sector. So far, eight financial institutions have partnered the Ghana Commodities Exchange to provide various financial assistance to farmers. Odilia and Tiamwa sat down with Dr. Alpha for an exclusive interview three months after the introduction of the exchange in, the, in this quarter basically I think in, possibly by the in, in a couple of months time um, the soya contract has actually been approved by the market um, usually the process is, is that if you want to launch a new product um, you have to consult the market you know and the market have to agree on the standards and and the specification and the terms and conditions under which the product will be will be treated. We've done that already. We've consulted with the market council, and they were very, you know, they were actually extremely happy about, uh, you know, the coming of soya on board. Uh, we've also uh, we're now also consulting with the with the Security Exchange Commission, who are our regulators. Uh, they also need to approve the contracts. Um, and then um, we expect that to be no problem because during the market council meeting they were there, they were part of the consultative meeting. So that is also fine. Um, I think what you haven't also noticed is that we are also bringing sesame seeds. Um, we are also launching sesame seeds. Um, possibly um, we are also bringing in um, cashew as well. Um, so um, we have a lot of plans for this year. I mean, at the end of the year, we should be able to bring in at least five more commodities. And what is important is that these commodities, um, you know, once we start trading them on a structured system like the exchange, it will encourage more farmers to cultivate them because they would see the benefits of, you know, of trading them and, and, and the good returns that they are making. So, yeah, so basically, so that is it. I mean, we, we hope that by the end of the year, we should have at least six or five or six commodities. About seven banks have joined in, in, in on the exchange. I want to find out exactly what their contribution will be to farmers, of course, in the whole value chain. Exactly what is the partnership about? Well, there's going to be a tremendous um, benefit. There will be a lot of benefits for the farmers. I mean, I mean, let's look at, let's just go back and look at the statistics. I mean, we know very well that, you know, a huge, I mean, we, we are just about, if you take the, the, the entire, you know, uh, population, just about maybe under, you know, six or seven or even eight percent have access to banking services, you know. Um, a lot of initiatives have been undertaken, but there are a lot of fundamental problems that you can uh, you can include particularly farmers to the financial service sector, and one of them is is the profiling, identifying and profiling them, and ensuring that they have access to those services. Um, our initiative is to work with the banks to be able to create tailor-made products for for the farmers, and which includes that the farmers can use their their commodities. That is, which is uh, they are so collateral to be able to assess short-term loans from the banks. Um, if you have more banks involved in it, the better for the farmers because then what it means is that there is healthy competition. Um, some of the banks have better conditions than others. Some of the banks would be able to provide services on time. We, our target is to ensure that you know within a day or um, at least within 24 hours or 48 hours, a farmer can, can access a loan. So if we have banks, then so many banks, then those banks will be able to work with us, can, um, you know, can, can go on and, and be successful. And also about interest rate, we want the banks uh, to be able to come to us and compete on the basis of giving the farmers better rates. So the international commodity market now where crude oil went up by 50 cents to trade at $64.11 a barrel.
let's do some social media now. And we've been asking a question on social media. And the question reads, um, do you expect the creation of the new region to inure to your economic benefits? And the results, we have 100 votes so far. And 62% are saying nothing will actually change. And 38% said yes. It will change. So you can also be part of our post on our social media platform, Facebook. Um, it's where you can actually reach us. So that's how we wrap up tonight on Business with me, Sandra S. And I'm going to do log on to our website, myjoyline.com for business. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great evening.